everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rakesh Gupta. I'm co-host of Automation Hour and blogger at AutomationJampion.com. I post content around PowerAuth, Apex, Lightning Web Component, Salesforce Flows, CRM Analytics, and Salesforce Releases. If you want to learn these topics, please subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as blog. In this video, we will learn how you can generate barcode or QR code, then display them in the record detail page as well as also associate them to the file. This video is divided into multiple sections. First, the business use case. Then we will learn what is barcode and QR code, the process flow diagram, identify API to generate barcode, then create a formula field to display the barcode on the page. Then we will write an invocable Apex to convert the response, which is a PNG file into the blob and associate them into the file of the related records. And then we will use after save flow to call the invocable Apex. So let's start. First, business use case. The business use case is whenever someone create a product, generate a barcode, display the barcode on the product detail page, and auto attach the barcode to file retail list on the product page. So let me show you demo before we discuss further. So let's create the product. If you notice, there is a barcode here. This is the formula field. And if I reload this page, you may notice there is a file here as well. All right, so this is the demo and this is the requirement. Next, what is barcode and QR code? Barcode is an image that is in a square or rectangular shape and consists of parallel black lines and white spaces. Machines can read this data representation. Barcode are very helpful in soft for purchase processing. They help to identify product with, within a seconds. They can also be used to track inventory in the warehouse. QR code is a matrix barcode that was invented in Japan. A QR code is a black and white squares that is, is a machine readable. It, can say it contains a lot of information about product or items. And nowadays, any digital devices can read this uh, QR code. QR code are these days used for different payment methods like UPI and other payment methods, and it can also be used to share information. Now, next step is to understand process flow diagram. So you can find all this information in blog number 174 on my website. The process flow diagram is uh, we will start uh, with the record trigger flows after save on the product to when product get created uh, we will do a https get call out to the identified api and we will use an invocable apex and i will explain later why we we need to use invocable apex not an https get or post request by salesforce flows and the barcode is written by the API that we are going to use uh, in PNG format. And then we will use an Apex to convert that into the blob and create any content version as well as content document link to associate that file into the file with the product. Next, the identify which barcode API you are going to use. For this demo purpose, we, are use, we will use <coughs> BWIP uh, barcode API, which is free. And it also provides the code so that if you have a node server, you can run this uh, whole API in the local server. The next step is you have to read the documentation and understand uh, what is the request and how the response is going to receive. So if you read the documentation, you may identify this. There are a couple of parameters you have to pass. BCID, which is basically the code type here, you see code 128. So you can go here and open and understand which barcode or QR code or different type of barcode you can generate by using uh, this API. And then uh, this is the text, basically the code you want to generate barcode for. So if I open this URL, you will see this is how it looks like. And there are various other parameters, uh, whether you want to display this barcode, uh, number in the barcode, uh, rotation, scaling, and other things. So feel free to read this, uh, and you can find the, this URL in my blog post as well. Now. Next is, uh, we will create a formula field to display the barcode on the page. So if you notice here, this barcode product code, this is nothing but a formula field. Because when you use this barcode, it returns this image in the PNG format. So let's go to the product object. And create a formula field. And in this formula field, I'm using image because this 
you URL is returning as an image and if you notice the same URL the code is 39 our uh, text is nothing but my product code uh, scale is 2 rotation is n and then I want to make sure that the barcode generated by the API include my product code in it that's all so this is how I'm generating here but now you want to generate the file and associate the file so that required Apex code now, why we need Apex code? Because to use Salesforce HTTPS, uh, the callout actions uh, within the flows, you have to, uh, the API must return in the JSON format, response in the JSON format. But this API does not re return the request in the JSON format because when you go and configure, you need the request response in the JSON so that Salesforce will create an invocable class to call. So that's why uh, this invocable class, we have to write something like this. The first thing is this take three parameters url you have to construct the url and pass the url second the record id and obviously when we generate the file obviously content version so you have to create a content version content document link and then you require this id and then the final name this first section of the code we are uh, making an https get call out and we receive the risk response and converting them in the blog the second portion of this code is basically creating a content version uh, with the file name and then third, third section of this code is basically creating a content document link uh, associating the content version to uh, not content version content document to the product record so once you have this let's go back and create this record trigger flows i already created a flow a record trigger flows on the product so let me show you so the first thing is we want to fire this record trigger flows on when the product get created. Why record trigger flow? Because we want to make an HTTPS get call out when product is created. So that's why this is the record trigger flows. And after save, because we are going to make a call out and then select the after save. One thing that uh, as a best practice, you can check here if the product code is available or not. I skipped this to make my block simple, but uh, that is a best practice. Otherwise the product code is not available. We don't want to make a call out. And if you notice, I have selected the run asynchronous because we want to make any call out. So to, if you want to do a call out from record trigger flows, you have to run it asynchronously. And then when you open this, there are three things we are passing here. Record ID, then product code, and the formula um, to construct the URL. It is same as what we have created in the Salesforce formula field. Instead of using image, it is plain URL. And you can, use, you can construct the URL like this. For example, code is hard coded. Text is basically I want to use barcode for the product code, and then I want to make sure that it is also included in the barcode. So once you're done and save it, that's all. From next time, when someone create a product, Salesforce will automatically create a barcode, and you will see the barcode here because this is the formula field, and your record trigger flow will fire and generate a barcode image and associate that into the product record. Thanks for watching. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions related to this video or blog post, I'm happy to answer.